Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, uh, drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you uh feel like the videos you know uh i hope the videos are actually you know what you can resonate with in the content of the videos and as always you know my image my my videos as, as well as my channel is divinely protected and you know shielded from anything that is not serving me on my highest you know anything that is being placed to project towards me of any harm or you know ill will towards me it will be returned back to sender but it's that mind will be blessings of healing and uh, upliftment um and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey focus the highlight of universal timelines you are so much further than you realize and it's so true you know it's just like times where you've been serving to yourself you may have been guided towards uh being towards solitude i was saying in my other videos you know a lot of times we don't feel that change is taking place because it may be we're not exactly where we want to be or things feel like it's not getting better it feel like it's getting worse and you have to understand it's like a lot of things are coming up towards the surface it's just like you're boiling anything like you know um kind of gross if I saying it like that but like chicken if you like you're boiling chicken or something like that you know a lot of people you know they boil it before they uh you know barbecue it you know I don't know why people be doing stuff like that I'm like why the heck you boil it I, I, I don't know but it's just like when you know you're boiling it you'll see all this stuff come to the surface I'm like oh what's that and that's kind of doing what we what we have got going on in our lives and it'll be a lot of different things that'll come up like certain situations and you you may be talking to your higher self you know we're a, a lot of us are you know in you know we're working on that best version of ourselves on different things you know, got a dog it's like that that long uh that instant is like all that smoke coming towards this way but you know um going through all those different things we're going through uh very intense changes you're you're leveling up in so many different ways and a lot of times we don't even realize it i'm putting this dag on um, thing out because there's a lot of smoke coming out of that probably because of the fan i got going on but um you know, you're going through a lot of changes. There'll be different situations where it'll come up and it'll be, you know, universe is not wanting you to dwell on those mishaps. It really, like, it, it could really hurt you. It could have really, you know, put you in your, you know, put you in your feelings. It made you want to, you know, retaliate. It made you want to pop off or whatever. And it's just telling you that no longer is needed. But do you understand the lesson that you're, you know, that was coming out of that situation? Because a lot of times, it's like everything, well, not a lot of times, all the time. Everything that people are coming in and out of our lives for is for a reason and a season for a blessing and a lesson and they're telling you to allow yourself to understand what was taking place what did you need to learn from that maybe it's just like allowing yourself to not put your power in anything or it's like allowing you to take your power back allowing you to know people are just like that at times understanding when people see something good in you they want to be able to project all and bad in you you know be different things where people you know I've, I've had different situations where people come in here oh she lied about this and oh she lied about that and they thought they were really doing something and not knowing you know I, I got different channels to make sure you know different things don't come out like that because there's too many people that are doing stuff like that I've, I've seen it a lot of times on my videos doing almost close to seven years and I've seen it on a lot of other people and it's just like you really don't have nothing to do you know I'm being stuff like that but it's just it'll be telling you you know there'll be different people that you really really that you would you know you, you can speak kindness into their life you know love into their life and you're really trying to understand why would they do that to hurt me because they're hurting it and you have to understand people are hurting and they'll find any and every way to you know um to be ah hold on y'all let me go ahead and pause this because okay back to what i was saying you know you're going through all those different things and you're really trying to understand why you know people are like that you have to understand you know there's going to be a lot of people out there they're at war with themselves and they want to bring you into that war it can be something about insecurity lack of love you know uh they're going through some kind of pain where they may have felt like they've been neglected or you know you you got a position that they they should they feel like you didn't deserve that should be me type vibration you know different things like that and they're trying to give you that understanding and pray for that person 
if you feel like that person's still coming at you like that, there'll be different times where, you know, it'll come back to you about something ugly being said about you. And it's just like, Dad, you know, I'm all on to this love and light. You know, I know I'm not a perfect person. I did this, but people keep on trying to bring out something about me that I don't even do anymore. And it'll be different times where people get mad. Where I'll say different things that, you know, really shame me back in the day. But it's just not about, number one, people will be just wanting to, you know, nitpick it. Like, oh, you know, well, she used to do this and this and that. Well, she ain't saying that. Cry just kept this and that. No, I'll try to put that out there. Number one, you are not going to humiliate me. You are not going to make a dime off of saying anything about me. I'm going to go ahead and say it about myself. And it's not just really prove a point to you. But it's just to be able to show th this ain't even a part of my daggone vibration anymore. This not even a part of me anymore. But I went through these different things into my life. And um, and I had to really be able to allow myself to appreciate what those situations showed me. And I know this is not, you know, I'm like Cat Williams. I, I done upgraded since then. You know, if you ain't upgraded since then and brought something better into the worst that it done took place into your life, because these weren't the best of your life. This was the test of your life. These are the different things that took on where you can sit up here and say, you know what, hey, I did this, this, and this, and that. Because a lot of people are always worried about that external validation on what, how people are seeing them, how they want people to look at them. You know, trying to make it seem like everybody's prim and perfect. They want to live that step, or, you know, what is it, step, step for wives? You know, vibration or whatever. I see it all the time. I see it amongst my family. They want to be like that. And it's just like, you know what? You have to just pray for folks like that. And just being able to know, you know, what you have done into your past. Nobody's perfect. Even the ones that come at me like that, I already know. Nobody is perfect. We all learn. There's a lot of people that, you know, they're learning way faster than we do. And there'll be different times. There'll be people that are not moving as fast as we are and learning from different, you know, different outcomes or different choices we make. Because everything has, it is like every choice that we have, you know, every choice we have, we've got consequences to it. You know, it can be a good consequence when you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, now I'm not going to take it personal. You know, people are keep doing this, you know. I used to be, you know, on my videos talking bad about how people did me and, and putting out like, oh, this person did this and this person did that and this person did this. I had to get into that vibration and say, you know what, you know, this is a whole new different day. Don't allow yourself to be pinpointing on what, you know, what a parent did, what a ex did, what this did, because it will be to that point. They're going to tell on their own self. If you know there's anybody into your life that's always trying to spotlight or trying to make you look like something because they're going through something or they're doing something to try to make you look bad, allow yourself to say, you know what, you know, when it hits you in that way and you want to do that come up and say, oh, let me go ahead and catch this before that person is. Allow yourself to be quiet. They're telling you don't file for that bait. That's the, you know, that's, that's going to be the upgrade of that highlight of that timeline when you're telling yourself a lot of time people you know they, they how they say you know people uh, uh bring a bone to carry one back you know and somebody oh yeah you this you this and then i'll be laughing at them i'm like okay <laughs> we know the truth i know the truth but if you want to go ahead and live that line i'm gonna let you do that because pretty soon you're gonna stumble up on your own so pretty soon people gonna really start seeing the real deal of that person and uh, you know I, you just don't have that vibration or don't even have that into you where you doing tit for tat because you're making yourself no better than the other person and that's what universe is telling you allow yourself to still be talking amongst the good because when somebody constantly want to highlight the negative about you people gonna start looking like you know why when I see this person, they, you know, they ain't saying nothing about you. They, you know, they moving on in their life. They showing different things that they don't went through, but they're showing the bad part, but they're showing you what good can come out of that bad part. And every time I talk to you, you always got something negative to say about that person. They're going to make you feel like, dang, you know, and it's going to really start showing. So that's why a lot of times, even when I see a post, it's like, it'll come up on my screen savers and stuff like that. It's just give me that, you know, that beautiful reminder. You ain't got to allow yourself to sit up here and point out and shadow out somebody's daggone character. Pretty soon, the lack of character that they have is going to end up projecting on a song. It's going to have that, you know, that, that, uh, you know, that. That true vomit. Like they say, you know, it's just be like when you had that burp and it's just like, oh, something come out and, you know, it just ain't going to be good. That's going to be what that's going to happen for those situations. But you still pray for those folks like that because they are still at war. 
and these are the different things where they're telling you your universal highlight is showing you you know you're not allowing yourself to stay focused on the bitterness that you have gone through and this don't have to be shadowed out with people that are doing stuff to you this is about how you used to talk towards other people or how you used to judge other people how you used to you know mock you know do that little low key mock on different things that how somebody gonna sit up here and stumble and make stupid on that stuff you know stuff like that or it's just how you would just you know d you know talk about your, yourself good and then hit somebody bad just try to you know beat someone like you know you going tit for tat for different things and you're allowing yourself to understand oh this has happened for a reason this is the, the is happening from the better me this is you know this creating um you know uh, helping me create a version of myself that you know I'm trying to be as and then when you're going through these different things you're going through the changes of your your highlight of really uh, of really allowing yourself to step back and you you just reflect on how far you have really come and they're telling trying to tell you that because a lot of times we don't realize that because we feel like you need you have to see physically see the manifestation that's going on into your life that universe has promised you that God has promised you that that moment of of uh, clarity of this is this is what your life gonna be like if you do this that and this and this and that and the third and then when you're allowing yourself to really know it goes within because you're allowing yourself to know I'm seeking more in solitude it is like you know, um, a lot of times we felt like we had to be around a lot of people. I had to have somebody to talk to. And it's just like, you, you can you can talk to your higher version of yourself. You can talk to your, you know, your family that is no longer, you know, in the living. You know, uh, be a lot of times you're going through different things. It could be good or bad, happy, sad, or whatever. And it'll be an image or something. It's just like, you know, I got to give props to my mom. Her birthday was yesterday. And it, it'll be a lot of times I might hear her name come up. Or I might see... Like, you know, there'll be uh, different times where I see my mom's name uh, put uh, uh, on a street, you know, by a certain song and stuff like that. And it'll be, I know my mom's coming up in my life and it'll be, you know, it, it'll be overwhelming because, I you know, I'm like, you know, I'm going through so much where, you know, I needed my mom to be here and she'll show me, you know, baby, I'm always here with you, you know, matter if I'm not even in, in the physical. And there'll be different things that I've gone through, different changes where it'll hit me, where the karma done came back. You know, like I've told other people before, me and my mom had a very toxic relationship growing up and it was like going towards, you know, her dying and stuff like that. And she knew that it's like our relationship got so good and we, our bond got like, you know, tight. And I was so angry with God, like, why did you take my mom away when I needed her to be in my life like that? I needed me to be in her life like that. Why would you do that? And it was like, I was so angry with him about that because it was like the parent I needed, you know, wasn't there like I needed. And, you know, and it was just like, you know, I was doing different things in my life that my mom had no reason to be proud of me for. So it was just, wasn't just like, oh, you know, she wasn't there. You know, I wasn't giving my mom good enough reason for her to say I'm proud of you and different stuff like that. And I had to be able to see sit back and you know God was like I know you're angry with me but the reason why I made it like that because the fact is she let a lot of things go that she knew this is her time where she know it can happen at any time and she wanted to make that ending beautiful even though it didn't start off like that she wanted to be able to go out of this world with a clear conscience that no she had that better relationship with her grandchildren or her, her daughter you know her son you know different things better relationship with her life you know, yes, I understand you, you were so upset with me for taking her. But it's just like when you like it on a clear conscience when she exited out this world, y'all had a better relationship. Y'all bond became tighter. You, she, even when she couldn't even mentally and emotionally understand the changes, the leaps I was doing for her, I showed up and showed out for my mom before that. And it was like during her closing when she was, you know, she was passing away, she kept on telling me how proud she was of me because, you know, she was able to see her son that came out the halfway house just being in prison did a stint for you know some little crazy stuff you know um being able to see her sisters that were still living some of her nieces and stuff like that you know being able to see you know she saw the stronger part of me because it was just di different times i was emotionally mentally breaking like i was not here you know just having you know emotional breakdowns left and right because i had to deal with a lot of things on my own and so when when i went through those things i'm just glad when I think of my mom, I don't think about those horrible times because there's a lot of things that I go through and sometimes it'll be that, that negative part 
they will have that tight connection and God is like when those situations come up they want you to think about the good that came into that tri transition of hardship or when those things come up don't allow yourself to be manifested right back in that feeling that you don't sit up here and walked away from you don't close the door on that even though they knew it was, it, it was uh, pain of sorrow pain of you know uh, why it had to be this way because it's like especially if you are that person like me you have experienced so many losses where everybody that felt like that was in your corner that cared there's no longer here it can speak the truth for you when everybody else is living a lie y'all all passed away and it was just like you know all those different things I took into my life where these people are no longer here but they protected me they're guiding me towards things they're opening up new doors for me for me to be able to see everything I went through hold it a purpose to it everything that was allowing me to manifest into that power that I didn't already know I had because everything that we're going through right now even the hardship is all re redirecting you towards that power to understand yourself from a different level. Knowing that you're peaking the highest peak that you never thought you could be able to go to. You're surpassing goals that you place out for yourself. You're allowing yourself to see the power you didn't even realize you had. And a lot of times we're not seeing that until we've gone through something tragic. Until we have gone through some mishap that really don't shook us to the core. Until something was snatched away from us that we really truly cared for. You're, you're seeing these different things in the universe a highlight of timelines of what you had to be able to go through what you had to have separated from you what had to be snatched from you what you had to part ways with what you had to change the focus on when we change focus on the growth is like okay there are so many people well it's known and unknown that is trying to go into my direction of trying to block me from things that I truly deserve why don't people leave you alone when you got something beautiful that's opening doors for you and it, it, it's going to start outliving the lie that people wanted to place on to you like that and it really changes your character on how people see you people are like I done gone too far now even when I see things ain't really working out for me I can't stop I done started this lie I gotta keep on continuing it and it's just like don't worry about that lie that's being regurgitated about you all the time or somebody talking bad about you or somebody want to do that you allow yourself to be manifesting your truth okay seeing that you had to have those different things come to you because it allowed you to say that's not going to stop me you're not going to stop me the devil is not going to stop me something that's taken away from my life is not going to stop me just from different suffering I had to go through it's not going to stop me this is going to make me know that there's something that's greater than my life than I'm not even understanding right now you know and a lot of times you don't understand your enemies can understand you know a certain percentage of what that can manifest through some hardship into your life because they, they predicted whatever they placed on you was going to make you crumble but they didn't realize whatever was placed onto your life made what was no longer serving you what was built on to you to believe you are a certain way that crumbled now you're building up on a foundation that is solid now as you're allowing yourself to know Oh, okay, I'm moving in silence. You know, I'm seeing the strength of myself even through the moments of weakness. You know, I'm seeing the light even when I'm in placed in darkness. You know, that's where that seed is growing at. You in that universal seed to where it's starting to come through even concrete. You know, and it's being able to say that because there's so many naysayers that's in your life that's saying, oh, they ain't going to get that. Or, oh, they ain't going to get that. But it's just the fact is they know deep down inside. You getting something because they still trying hard to knock you down, and they feel like when you're they're in strength in numbers, they can still define you. They can still appear and beat you, but they're like they don't they they fail to realize who is protecting you, who is shattering you, and who is guiding you through those vibrations. Like you going through universal tunnels, okay? You are breaking portals. You are busting open portals. You even folding timelines of dimensions you don't even know about because that energy carries power with you. And these are the different things that universe wants you to realize. There are so many things that's riding up against you, but you're still going to prosper. You're still going to be able to grow. you still move because you're moving from the heart. Because it's just like, you know, I, I, I had to be in that, you know, I can be very, very, very vile with my words. And this is just like I had to be done with that. Because I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos that, that don't like me. I know there's a lot of people that just wishing the worst on me. Trying to keep me, you know, in a vibration that they put a mask on me. They don't build, you know, I tell people. There's a lot of time people approach you with that same mask they put on you. The same mask that they, you know, that they unmolded just for you. And that mask don't even fit no more. Like, no, nah, I'm showing the real me. You know, it may not be something that you want me to do. But I'm going to keep doing that. 
you know and then you're knowing you're getting aggressive with that just like i was doing the other video you you going through that aggressive change into your life where it's like now or never you don't came too far god didn't bring you this far just to bring you this far you don't got this far and it's like the devil wants you to give up the devil wants you to sit up here and think about everything negative that's going in your life want you to stay focused on everybody who's trying to block you into your life and they're telling you no don't do that Allow yourself to know. They see the good in you. That's why they keep shadowing you with the bad. They see that power in you. That's why they keep reflecting that moment of weakness on you. Or they want you to keep on focusing on what they did. Or what they said. Or what they try to keep away from you. Or what they stole. You know, all those different things. They know that power for you. And that, that scares the heck out of them. That's why they keep trying to do the things that they're doing. But these are those times where you're going to say, this is my time. You know, I forgot who was that. Oh yeah, the, the, my boy Tago Carion. He was like, "This is my time now." <laughs> okay, this is my time now. The world is yours. Okay, the world is yours. It's like God, dog. You really don't want to be talking about my. Well, yeah, Tago went through that movie, but I was about to say Scarface. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm like, don't do that. Even though that's my boy, don't do that. You know, because it was like you already know. If you watch Scarface, you already seen how it ended. But it's just that power that you got. You don't realize it because a lot of times we go through stuff and we get overwhelmed like I'm tired of going through this. I say it a lot to myself. I get tired of doing this. Yeah, you're going to get tired, but you're going to understand that, that that situation that was tearing you down. They want to keep you, you know, set into that docile situation where, oh, I don't have, you know, I got so many enemies against me. But you don't understand the power of protection you got over you. Bump the daggone enemies on how much the people got going on. Because a lot of times people feel like there's so many of us against that one person. We're going to get them. But you don't realize you got family done passed over. This protecting the heck out of you. They got you on the plot twist and don't know there's a plot twist out there somewhere. Just waiting just waiting just to get that going in light. Just to be able to out there. Because whatever is manifesting you, you manifesting it. It's going through that healing process just like you going through that healing process. If you trying to sit up here and heal yourself to be that greatest version. That perfect vibration. That perfect connection for you to get with your twin flame. I guarantee you they're going through the same stuff you going through. The different things that, that is protecting you guys. I love you know it's just like I'm blessed that I got that 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 strong connection with my family and other people that even come with me um that that comes to me all the time you know that show me hey you know I got this person coming towards you and they you know that their trust issues are very uh heightened because of the things they've gone through but I'm gonna give you an insight about something that you don't even know about just to let them know I sent them towards somebody they can really trust this person that can really take them places then they're gonna be taking you places because there's a lot of things that people are coming towards my way that they have overcome and I still be may having a struggle with that or there'll be different things that I don't overcome and they still struggle with that we all learning we all growing with each other we're supporting each other even if it's just the enemies I'm supporting you because I want you to see no matter what you have gone through if something's gonna be for you it's always gonna be for you nobody can't shut a door that God's gonna open for you nobody can't take away what God has for you you gonna show that person that there'll be different times where the universe will tell you the only thing they can do is take notes from you on how to be a better person and it's not trying to sit up here and stick and jab at no daggone body this is all, you know, all truth. Straight shot, no chaser. You know, you're going through these different things in life where you're allowing yourself to see. If I didn't have my enemies in my life, I wouldn't know that I got something very valuable that they don't want me to touch. Well, I got so many people that place doubt on me saying, I can't do this, I can't do that. And I tell people all the time, don't allow somebody to take away your shine. They want you to dim your light whatsoever. And they can't do it. If they can't do it themselves, they're going to try to make you play off that you ain't got what it takes to be able to go there. If you didn't got one that gave you that vision, you got a vision that nobody else see. They want you to be able to keep moving. Keep moving. Don't allow yourself to get into that vibration. I guess they right. I guess they right. I'm so used to that. You gonna be to that point like, yeah, I'm so used to that. But that's not, you know, they can keep on talking about that. It ain't gonna matter. You know what they say about me? Oh, it's gonna be something that they reflect on themselves. I don't care what people say about me. Oh, they done said this about you. Okay. Do they got anything else to talk about? 
Can they talk about anything the new that's going to win out? Because I'm going to say everything that I went through that, you know, I feel like it's important in my life. And I'll tell people, yes, I wrote bounce checks. You know, I'm just praying to equal effects that I can get this through so my kids can have food on their table. Or I can sit up here and extend that light bill, that phone bill for a minute. Or I can go ahead and pay rent. You know, yeah, I had to dance a couple of times. I had to shake what my mama gave me and just sit up here and had to make some money just to make sure that, you know, my kids had clothes on their back or I had, you know, a car to keep it moving, this and this and that. I tell people that, yes, I used to be addicted to weed. I used to be addicted to opiates. I don't overdose a couple of times. You know, I don't been out where I don't had, you know, near death experience where I don't touch down on the Lord's door and, you know, I got kicked out of hell, hell's gates, you know, so many different times where I kept coming back but that's not a part of my life no more that created a better part of me I'm not ashamed of what my past is because my past is not where I'm going you know this is the future my past got me to where I am right now don't feel shame of what you went through in your life before people want you to be shamed of that one word you validate yourself because everybody out there they got so many different things where they even scared for other people to know because they don't want to be looked at you know that certain way you know, I know people will be going through some mess, be creating somebody drama for them, be going hardship. But when somebody tell that truth, hey, can you tell them to take that down? Or hey, can you tell them not to say that? But what is the truth, though? You know, you know, be different things that's going on, like, you know, about that. You want to, you know, I ain't going to even go there because that's, that's really telling on somebody. And I'm not going to do that. I said, oh, be right, be right. You know, but it, it's just so many different things that's going on in your life. Where you're getting that universal highlight of that timeline. We're showing you how far you have come. There have been so many different people that have been placed in your life to, to sit, seek and destroy everything. Or they bring, you know, bring somebody back like, oh, they won't catch on to that. If they see you coming up and they, you know, you coming up in there and you already know that's way off. That person don't even do that. I had that happen to me a couple of months ago. I said they really thought I was stupid with that one, didn't they? Okay, you know, and really just go with it because that's time come for desperate measures. People are all coming at you. You even got to be the ones, the ones that you hold close to you. You even got to be second guessing them. It's just that point. You oh, Right now, you only can trust your daggone self because there'll be different times where it's got quiet. And people know what I'm talking about. Where it doesn't got quiet, where things is going good for you right now. You ain't got nobody trying to come out and trying to sit up here and block anything that you got going good for you. You know, you ain't seen no drama coming towards your way. You ain't got nobody doing this or whatever. And then it's just like you still, you know, you, you still got to be. You know, just keep watching. Not telling you to be paranoid, but just keep watching. Because people are trying to, you know, they're going to have to regroup. You know, they're going to come, hey, we got to come back differently because he's expecting that or she's expecting that. You know, with all of us being together, we can take this down or we can destroy this or we can wipe this out. And everything that you're going through. I've seen so many different things where I, I got pissed off because I'm like, God, you ain't coming through like I thought you were going to get come through. And actually, he did. And I didn't even notice it until later. There'll be different times where it's like you don't, you don't put out different things. I'm saying, you know, I got bounties over my head. I got people trying to kill me because I'm a liability. I'm a loose end. I'm telling that truth that other people don't want me to get out because of people I'm related to, because people I look like, because people I know, they know I got DNA and all that junk. They don't want that to happen. You putting that stuff out. I always tell people, if I come up dead, it ain't suicide. If I come up missing, I, I, I ain't get lost trying to go towards the path of my home. I didn't do that. Other people ain't had that. And when I keep telling people that, they be like, God, dog, you know, you got so many receipts. You know, because people are like, oh, you lying about this. Then why didn't somebody sit up here and sue me for defamation of character? Why they didn't sit up here and sue me and take me to court for me to stop saying what I'm saying? I tell people real quick. If I start saying some different stuff on here, there's proof on saying I said some stuff and you would really take me to daggone court and sue the heck out of me if I was lying. You know, and I, I always say that. And I ain't even got it. You know, it's just like either you know my story and you know what brought me here 
or it ain't your time to know yet, or you just gonna find out on the tail end, you know, and they be like, Dad, now I see why she went hard. Now I see why she was heavy on telling me I need to keep going. Because there'll be a different time. You are a loose end. You are a liability. You see so many different times out here when you are a liability and you hold too much daggone power of knowledge that you know that ain't gonna just mess you up but mess up a lot of people in power. You are to see what happened. Epstein, <laughs> you know, a lot of different things. Oh, this person, you know, uh, what, what's that boy name? That football player, because he, he was even, because I'm looking like you, you cannot be that type of person. And somebody, know, they know exactly who I'm talking about. That dude that was in, uh, what was it, New England Patriots. Now I'm looking like, wait a minute, you can't be that sloppy. Oh, yeah, you knew something. You held something that a lot of people didn't want out. So we had to come up and say, oh, this person took that. No. Or this person had a, you know, they even got in a world where they, they can sit up here and use some kind of pistol and make it look like that you don't have, you don't suffer from a heart attack. And I'll just let that mess sit there. You know, there's a lot of different things where they closing in. When you closing in, I'm about to tell the truth on different things. And it's your time. <laughs> it's your time now. It'll be your time. It'll be that time where you're like, all of us scared of, of dying. You know, there's a lot of people say, hey, you know, some people be just like, they be running towards that time because they feel like, shoot, they unstoppable, this, this, and that. It ain't even about that with me because I feel like if it's my time, I had so many times I done died and I came back because God got a reason. I'm like, there'll be so many times I done strategically tried to do that with my own self. God like, no, I don't want you yet. You ain't done yet. When I'm ready for you, you'll come back when I come get you. This ain't going to be that time. You know, there'll be different times where you see seeing in the world. Well, people done sit up here and got away with too much stuff, you know, and then like they say, karma don't never forget an address. There'll be so many times where people just keep going like, why do you keep doing this stuff and you know eventually going to get caught? Because the fact is, you notice how, how much dirt people have done. And they, they may be feeling the wrath of what they pr projected out on people, to, you know, the different things they don't wrecked up for somebody else because of their insecurities or where they feel like this should have been me. You know, and like if it would have been you, it would have been you. You know, all of those different things and not trying to hit below the belt. It's just speaking truth. You know, anytime somebody get aggravated about that because you know it's your truth. And it's just like when you speak truth like that, like, you know, I know how I can get when I'm hitting below the belt. I know it. I've been on here and I've been like that, but this is not on that vibration I'm on. I'm way past that. And there'll be different times you got to think because there'll be sometimes you got an enemy that's deep on you. And it's just like if you knew what I knew, you would stop what you're doing. And a lot of people don't. They, they feel like they're invincible. Like I've said too many times. People is like when they keep going like that, basically what you're telling me, you can overdo what God got. Okay. Let me stay right over here and let you stay right over there. And I'm going to still keep praying for you. And it's not even about being cocky. It ain't being patronizing. It ain't you being arrogant or conceited or anything. But that's what they're trying to tell you. Whatever. Oh, I can do whatever I want to to you. And God ain't going to stop me. I've been doing this for years. You see, he ain't stopped me yet. But it'd be just like you see why you're going through the stuff you're going through. Because of what you did. And this ain't even. Th this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the beginning for you, you know, and a lot of times, like I said, you, the, the highlights of what's showing you, because it's just like what I was saying in the other video, when I, when, when I was seeing that stuff about the, uh, what is it, Windsor Hills or whatever that mess was, when that woman going down, and then when I, I when I wanted to come out of a, 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 a box on this woman for what she did to them people, and it was like, and then on top of that, when they show her holding her phone out, why are you pushing a hundred? a 35 mile zone you know rural area and they already said from coming up on that hill that you already got to pump on brakes and this fool had her 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 her, her uh, phone out and she recording what she doing and, was, and I'm looking and God was like I know you mad <laughs> I know you mad because that's anybody this wasn't even my family but it's just the fact is I'm seeing what ignorance on what people have done to take away family I'm, I'm still going through that mess and still trying to be at peace with that so that's why it automatically pulled me out of a whole box on some stuff on how people can be that way okay but it was just like God was like you see 
And then on, on top of this is like this ain't her first accident. She done sit up here and peeled through some other stuff and uh, popped off. And you know she done got into uh, you know fender benders and this and this and that. Or she done gone off and did this and this. And I'm trying to understand how the heck she get the job she got. Because uh, you know when you going through different stuff. They'll tell you if you ever been convicted of this. You ever been convicted of that. And I'm like how did you get. No God had a plan for that. Because it would be the fact is where when you got enemies that are going out their way. Universal timeline where they'll tell you to really take a step, step back. Don't think that God is blind to what they're doing. Just like he ain't blind to what you're doing. Right then is there when you were going through your, your, your spiritual awakening. We go through multiples of them. And you have it where God say remember when you did this. Remember where you did that. And there'll be certain times when you felt like you done got away with stuff. And you clear. Like right now, they probably you probably hearing your karma is clear, baby. Your slate is clear. Because you done sit up here and had to repent. You had to go through some stuff you done place other people on. You felt like you done did some stuff. And you became untouchable and thinking, well, God didn't reflect on. No, be patient. God and karma is very patient. You know, they'll wait to see if you're going to right your wrongs. They're going to wait to see if you're going to do the right thing. Okay, well, I gave you enough time. So, obviously, you ain't learned the first few hundred times you kept doing stuff. is because you thought I overlooked what you did. Now, it's the fact is I'm about to make you pay for it. But it's not going to be the way you don't sit up here and projected this out to people. It's going to intensify because that's that's all they say. That's why when it comes to, you know, you want to say and do some stuff to your enemies, don't do that because they're already doing it. You want to project pain on your enemies. The choices they're making, they're showing you they're going through pain. Your universal timeline. They're telling you that. They're already going. You think you about to sit up here and embarrass a narcissist? Yeah, you can with a whole lot of facts and stuff like that. But you ain't got to do that. Allow yourself to step back and let them stumble on their own character. Allow that truth to come out when you send up here projecting all these lies. And you have to still keep praying for them. Okay? Because it's like er everything has a time. Everything got a balance to it. Everything that you, you know how they always tell you, is uh, a law of attraction. You know, um, what, what is a law of attraction and, and you know, a balance or cause and effect. Whatever cause that you place out, it could be good or bad, it's going to have an effect. But when it comes back, it's going to add more weight to what you have. That's why they always constantly tell us, you do people how you want to be done. You know, you place, you know, when you have a chance to place that ugliness on somebody who's placed ugliness to you, you choose to be better. Because you're showing that person, whatever you're pushing on me is going to rob me to be better. Because I see what that ugliness can do. Because I see through the moments of you. You know, I'm allowing myself to keep praying for you because it, it, it's just, you got too much going on. And it don't even, even if it's directed toward me, it don't have nothing to do with me. Because it's like a lot of things is going on where people are okay being. And universe going to allow you to keep being that way. But if he's putting you through it because you ain't one of those people, you will sent here to make change into the world you won't be that one that is going to be used by example and a lot of times you can be like i don't got pressed against the wall and they don't woke up a sleeping bear and then they don't put me up here and i don't got popped you know i'm popped off and stuff like that next thing you know i got karma coming at me like that why they ain't got coming 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 at them like that trust me they going through it every day that's the reason why they keep on projecting it towards you because they see something good in you that they don't like and plus they already know you're being used as an example and you knew better so when you got all that stuff going on universal timeline so you're going through all these different things in life where it is going to be a cause and effect situation you keep putting out all that beauty and love into the world all that abundance and prosperity you want to see others with even the ones who are trying to take that mess from you they can't take nothing that is not destined to be taken you can't do that you know only way they can do that is by convincing you and you giving that to them. But this is at that point where you at this point and now you already know. Oh, okay, this is what they're doing. Oh, okay, are you going to allow them? You, are you going to fall for the bait? No, you ain't going to fall for the bait. Allow yourself to stop. You know, because be every, you know, you have to be able to understand. Like, there's three things that you can't hold. Hold for too long. The sun, the moon, and the truth. You know, they're always going to be just like there be three truths. Your truth, their truth, and the truth. That truth is always going to come out. What is being done in the dark is always going to come to light. Anybody who want to sit up here and paint a character about you, that mess is going to be showed up on the canvas of what it truly is. 
So you allow yourself to keep manifesting the beauty in everything that you're going through. You're allowing yourself to really see the power and the depth of how it really is. Because everything you are going through is rerouting you to be able to see the person you truly are. And this is the person that was waiting for you to acknowledge them a long time ago. And they're proud of you. They've got so many of your different, you know, your different guys and your family don't, you know, don't passed over and seen how much you have gone through. And this done created a, a, a force of a beast. That was in you That was waiting for you to be reintroduced to And you're doing that through everything that you're going through Through that change You keep praying for your enemies You keep praying for other people You keep allowing yourself to Even through your stories of what you have You know you have gone through What you have faced What you have overcome What you may be still stumbling on You allow that to be shown with other people Because there's so many people that are going through things You really don't know how they can resonate with your experience and just being able to know that there's so many people out here that can resonate with that you just don't know how much of a blessing you really are you're that inspiration that will truly inspire other people so i hope you're able to resonate with that i would love to give a, a post notification shout out to james graham much love to you as well as divine feminine much love to you as well if you're new to my channel please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me as well, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, just to be able to understand, um, to have a deeper understanding about our path to purpose and what is it trying to show us, where is it guiding us to. I would love to be able to help. Whatever we're speaking on is discreet, you know, and I help out the best way I can because we're all teachers and students of each other's lives. You know, be lessons and blessings and reasons of seasons to be able to do that. And I love to be able to be a part of that timeline of what you're creating and you know if you're ever interested in my podcast i also got that in the community section of my uh channel as well and if you're ever feeling generous enough to drop a donation the cash app is there as well you know whatever you're trying to bring into your life the you know uh, mon uh what is it? i say manifest manifest into a fruition i'm sending all the vibes that you have to be very consistent with that and persistent don't sleep on yourself stay woke because the enemy and the devil sees the potential and that light within you and they will convince you to give up today because that know they blessing of that door is going to stay open tomorrow so allow yourself to be keep being consistent because there's beauty around every hardship that you go through so much love to you god bless shalom i say namaste much love peace